there are ways that we can have fun and uh, and continue within the fandom. I am uh, I am particularly fond of just making wacky ships and throwing characters at each other in a very canonical simulation and just seeing what happens. So that's why we're doing Hunger Drones Part 3. Of course, starting off with District 1. Newsy fans, I'm sorry. You had a whole series, eight episodes, all right? And you were in two of my Hunger Drones videos. You're getting a break, all right? We got Norian Khan, District 1. District number two, my personal favorite. Of course, we have Envy. They need some love, chat. They need some love. What could have been? What could have been? And yet, taken away from us so soon. Lizzie and Rebecca, all right? Hear me out. Lizzie kind of yells at Rebecca during the prom. I think they had a falling out. I think they were, they were hitting it off. And then, just didn't work out. Lizzie saw Doll. She thought, she thought the Russian was hot. Rebecca was offended. It didn't work out. District number four! Emily in books. Emily loves her books. She likes her books. She'd be a librarian if she could. She is the book, yes. Reading up on her survival guide so that she can be uh, the, the sole survivor. And then didn't survive on it. Funny enough, her book was called Final Girl. And Lizzie ended up being the final girl. So, maybe she's not good at reading. We still love her, though. Underrated character. Gone too soon. Uzi and Brayden. Now, hear me out on this one. Uzi took over Brayden's mind. All right? Because she loved him that much. You got... You do some psycho shit when you're in love. Okay? We've all been there. We've all been there. And then Brayden reciprocated the love so much that he kept the fire that she started on his head for two whole episodes. If that ain't love, I don't know what is. All right, district number six. I'd be a fool not to include these two. District number seven, Mitchell and Yeva. All right, that man saved her life, okay? And she in turn saved his, although he did almost certainly die later on in the episode seven, but Aside from that, they saved each other's lives in episode 7. That is a strong bond right there. District number 8, Kelsey and Doll. All right. For some reason, I put Doll with all her dead victims. It's not a thing, I promise. Anyway, Doll went after Kelsey Day. It's jealousy. Always is. Easy as that. District 9, Reed and Tessa. All right. Both decapitated. They're perfect for each other. District 10, Thad and Teacher. You see the way that man's looking at the teacher during the prom scene? There's a connection there. Fight me on that one, I dare you. Now, District 11 has been historically re 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 reserved for um, crack ships, Jay and Lizzie, and then Eldritch Jay and Lizzie. I was on something when I thought of that one. So who could possibly fill the District 11 position, rightfully so? I don't know. If this is a perfect one, but I think it's I think it's worthy. Sin and Bill Cipher. Hear me out. These two freaks, besties. 100 percent Absolutely. Bill would see Sin in her in her flesh suit and be like, You're on my team. Alright. It makes sense. It just makes sense. And finally, we have a return of an underrated ship. Back from the first episode. I think they need more love chat. Tim and Frank, a.k.a. Tank. The OGs. The original old married couple. Alright, the way they treat each other. They've been married for so long and they're sick of each other's shit, but they stick together. I mean, he, he calls them by the wrong name on purpose. It's clearly a pet name. Ladderbot 5000, that's a pet name. Anyway, we have a roster here. Hoping Jay dies, honestly. I used to, I used to like Jay a little bit. Thought, thought she had a lot of interesting character. Now, not so much. Doll needs a win. She got owned in the last one. Absolutely demolished. She killed a bus in like the first one and that's all she got. She needs a win. Nori and Khan, they're just hanging out. Sin and Bill, I've, I fear. I fear what they're capable of. V clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Branded Pens gathers as much food as he can. Sin runs into the cornucopia and hides. That's, I fear. I already fear. God damn it. 
Khan runs away from the cornucopia. Tessa runs away from the cornucopia. Nora grabs a jar of fishing bait while Emily gets fishing gear. The ladies are working together. Bueller runs away from the cornucopia. Oh, he's, he's scheming. He's scheming already. And finds a canteen full of water. Eva runs away with a lighter and some rope. Teacher takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. Frank runs away. Tim runs away with a lighter and some rope. Book stays at the cornucopia for some resources. Doll runs away. Jay runs away. Brayden runs away. Kelsey runs away. Uzi runs away. Lizzie runs away. Thad rips a mace out of Rebecca's hands. Oh, they're fighting already. Reed runs away, and Mitchell finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Thad travels to higher ground. Brayden tries to sleep through the entire day. Me, basically. Drones are cats, basically. They just sleep all the time. Tessa defeats Frank in a fight, but spares his life. Ooh. Brandon Pans overhears Mitchell and N talking in the distance. Oh, what are Mitchell and N talking about? Emily overhears Khan and Teacher talking in the distance. They're like talking about Uzi. Color damage again, and I will install a door on your face. Bill, Rebecca, and Doll hunt for other tributes. Oh god, Bill, I fear. Don't make a deal with them. Ladies, please. You have a chase as Nori? Aw, it's like they're back in the labs together, having fun. Uzi, V, Reed, and Kelsey hunt for other tributes. Jay attacks Tim, but he managed to escape. Way to go, Tim. Sin steals from books while he isn't looking. What do you steal from books, exactly? Pages? Bookmarks? Covers? Lizzie injures herself. Classic Lizzie. Thad receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. He's already OP. Sponsors, leave him alone, please. Brendan Penns convinces Kelsey to snuggle with him. Heh. The snuggling one always gets me. It's just, it just, it makes you think every time. Brayden looks at the night sky. I do too sometimes. Sometimes the night sky is pretty. Especially because I live in Canada, so sometimes I get the northern lights. Sin receives clear water from an unknown sponsor. Uh, Sin does not need any sponsorships. Chat, please. Mitchell, Yeva, and Tim discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Frank, V, Rebecca, and Books sleep in shifts. I don't know how well the Books will protect the rest of the camp in sleeping shifts, but who knows? Branded pens be dating everybody. Dude, branded pens get around. I mean, I got branded pens right now. So. <laughs> branded pens be playing. Reed fans Uzi, Chichu, and Emily away from his fire. Go, Reed! Jay receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. She's gonna need him. She is gonna need him. Let's be real. Bill, Tessa, and Doll get into a fight. Doll, Doll triumphantly kills them both! Yo! Yo! Alright. Doll's back. Doll's back on top. Destroying Sin. Or fucking Bill. Dude. Dude. I was not ready for this. I, I wanted Doll to make a comeback, but... Bill? And Tessa? Because she's technically Sin. The Russians are fucking crazy. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I fear the Russians. They're crazy. Doll revenge arc, yes. And receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Nori convinces Khan to snuggle with her! Yes! Core lore, let's go! That's awesome. I'm sure it didn't take much convincing. Y'all saw how Khan reacted when headcrab Nori yelled at him? He was like, I hit that. Dude. <laughs> I love this game. Lizzie stays awake all night. On her phone, probably. Uzi receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. That's terrifying, I fear. V stalks Tim. Yo? V? You're manner V. You're not supposed to stalk people yet. Thad, Reed, and Brandon Penn start fighting, but Reed runs away as Thad kills Brandon Penn's. Yo! Thad! With no mercy! Rest in peace, Brandon Penn's. Mitchell receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Brayden steals from Rebecca while she isn't looking. Classic Brayden move. Rebecca deserves it. She's a bitch. Yeva receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Don't, don't, don't be giving explosives to Russians, please. Sin stalks Kelsey. Oh god, Kelsey, run! Kelsey, no! Doll searches for a water source. And Nori and Emily get into a fight. Emily triumphantly kills them both. Emily! Yo! Emily! What are you doing? What? What? I thought she was like fucking cute innocent book girl, but no. Dude! That's whack. It's true what they say about the quiet kids. Jay tends to Frank's wounds. Okay. Unexpected um, niceness from Jay. She's planning something. I don't trust it. 
Books chases Khan. They're having fun. Teacher searches for a water source. Lizzie questions her sanity. Lizzie's just been vibing this whole time. Five cannon shots heard in the distance. Rest in peace. Bill, Cypher, Tessa, Branded Pens. God damn it. Dude, N... <laughs> N gets destroyed in all of these. I don't understand. This this game hates N. And Nori. Rest in peace. Thad receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Terrifying, I fear. Thad's OP. Tim receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Uh, teacher and Lizzie run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Also, isn't Lizzie, like, canonically teacher's daughter? Was that ever confirmed? I assume it is, because she's like, I'll get my dad at Dr. Grades, and like he's like the only teacher that we've ever seen. So Khan and books tell stories about themselves to each other. <laughs> well, Khan just has to read the books. Books doesn't need to do any telling. Well, this is an audiobook. Ooh. Emily thinks about winning. Oh, f I would too, after what she just got through. Destroyed two OP characters. Oh my goodness. Kelsey V, Frank, Jay, and Rebecca sleep in shifts. Yeva is awoken by nightmares. Probably Russian nightmares. I wonder what gives Russian ni Russians nightmares. Probably like a lack of vodka. A vodka shortage. Brayden sets up camp for the night. Uzi and Mitchell huddle for warmth. Okay. Reed receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Doll attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Oh, Doll, you're slipping. You're slipping. Don't, don't, don't go downhill now, Sin. Hi. I accidentally to detonate some landmine while trying to... <sighs> What do you mean, Sin? Why do you even need a landmine? Hello? That's all they needed to win episode 8 was to just throw landmines at, at Sin. Who would have thought? Yeva camouflages herself in the bushes. Frank explores the arena. Rebecca is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Classic Rebecca thing. Books practices his archery. I'm sure he's got a book on archery somewhere. Lizzie tries to sleep through the entire day. Because she was up all night texting the night before. Makes sense. Tim fishes. I feel like Tim would fish. Tim and Frank would enjoy fishing together. Connor receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. V forces Emily to kill a Brayden or Doll. She decides to kill Doll. Yo! Alright. Alright. Doll's out. Doll's out! Emily got her third kill now, I believe. And I mean, Brayden's not much of a threat, so she made the right decision getting Doll out of the way real quick. Emily might win this, chat. She might win this. Also, V being just crazy. She was stalking someone earlier, now she's making people fight? Not so innocent behind those glasses. Kelsey steals from Reed while he isn't looking. Probably a new pair of glasses. Teacher and Uzi hunt for other tributes. Thad tries to sleep through the entire day. Jay receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Mitchell dies from thirst. <sighs> Classic interns. They just can't feed themselves. They can't, you gotta supervise them for everything. It's just, interns are just so useless. This is why they're unpaid. Sin's gone! Doll's gone, and Mitchell's gone. Teacher and Rebecca tell stories about themselves to each other. Lizzie tends to her wounds, she was wounded apparently. Tim, Con, and Jay track down and kill books! Books, no! No! All the knowledge in the world gone forever. All right, it is confirmed that Tim, Con, and Jay are conservative. <laughs> get it? Because they're banning books. Anyway, we don't get political here. Uzi receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Kelsey cries herself to sleep. I would too. Braden and Reed hold hands. New ship, chat. Emily is awoken by nightmares. Probably the souls of all the people she's killed. Haunting her. V tries to sing herself to sleep. Yeva and Frank hold hands. All right. Okay. Frank secretly Doll's dad? We don't see them at the same time in the show. Thad bleats out due to untreated injuries. What? What's happening here? I'm so confused. Why are the OP characters so bad at this? Khan pushes Jay off a cliff during a knife fight! Let's go, Con. Let's go. Deserved. Absolutely deserved. Kelsey's trap kills V. Kelsey! All right. She deserved to die in episode three. I'm saying it now. She deserved it. She deserved every minute of it. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, she was kind of psycho-y throughout this, but like, come on, look at that face. How could you do that to her? Bruh.
Dude, all the women are going nuts this episode. What is happening? Emily discovers a cave. Good place to hide bodies. Frank receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Teacher begs for Reed to kill him. He refuses keeping Teacher alive. He's not getting those bonuses. He wants to, he wants to go so bad. Lizzie dies from an infection. Oh my goodness. It was just like last one. The last one too. Where Lizzie was just... She just did nothing for the entire episode. And then just just died from the most random thing. The ones with the glasses look innocent but are actually evil. Dude. Truth. The glasses make him look cute and innocent? Don't trust him. Braden, Tim, Rebecca, and Uzi hunt for other tributes. Yeva receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Oh man, rest in peace books. And Thad. Eh. And V. Eh. <laughs> you can tell how I feel about all the characters on this show. Kelsey sent to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Serves her right. Karma. Bitch. Uzi, Teacher Reed, and Yeva tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. I feel like Uzi would be really good at telling ghost stories. The teacher's ghost stories would be like, and then I gave them all a failing grade. The end. <laughs> Emily sets off an explosive killing. Tim! Tim! No! Dude, Emily is going nuts. I fear. I fear. Cute little book girl. Dude. I'm saying, I'm saying right now, if she wasn't distracted by her book, she probably would have killed Uzi. Khan sets up camp for the night. Frank and Brayden tell stories about themselves to each other. And Rebecca thinks about winning. Rebecca, I hate to say it, girl, but you're going up against Emily right now. It ain't, it ain't looking good. Reed forces teacher to kill Frank or Kelsey. He decides to kill Frank. Oh, rest in peace, Frank. I would have gone for Kelsey. Uzi and Yeva split up to search for resources. Brayden discovers a river. He can put the fire out on his head. Rebecca thinks about home. Khan shoots an arrow into Emily's head. Let's go, Khan! All right. All right, that threat's over and dealt with. Holy. Emily was the real host of the solver. Yes. But now it's GG for her. Khan saw the threat and he wasn't taking any chances. Tim, rest in peace. Frank, rest in peace. Oh, the old married couple, they both died. And Emily, she was gonna win. It's, it's a good thing she's gone. Khan and Rebecca talk about the tribute still alive. Kelsey and Uzi. Or Kelsey kills Uzi with a sickle. Dude, Kelsey's on a rampage. The girls in this episode are going nuts! This is why I fear women. Brayden and Reed tell stories about themselves to each other. Yeva accidentally lights a landmine while trying to arm it. Dude, the Russians and landmines. And Sin, too. What? Anyway, rest in peace, Yeva. Didn't she die to that last time, too? Uh, teacher receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. The cornucopia is replenished with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Brayden bashes Khan's head against a rock several times? Yo! Brayden out of nowhere! What? Dead. Dead. That's wild. I'm not okay right now. Should have had a door, Con. You would have survived. Reed decides not to go to the feast. That's a good idea. Brayden's going insane over there right now. Kelsey decides not to go. Rebecca decides not to go. Teacher falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Oh, wow. First off, how do you fall into a frozen... Well, I guess the ice can break. So, Rebecca wasn't the only one who couldn't swim, apparently. Teacher should have just stayed on the roof like he did. Day six. Reed makes a slingshot. Kelsey discovers a cave. Rebecca receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. And Brayden collects fruit from a tree. We're down to four already. Brayden, Rebecca, Kelsey, and Reed. Who's going to survive? Who is going to survive? Kelsey? Kelsey's going nuts. All right. She might, she might do something. Do something drastic. Or she's going to get herself killed trying to do something drastic. Reed, I don't think he's going to do much. Rebecca, I don't know. Brayden also kind of came out of nowhere with the with with killing Khan. So, I'm my I'm I'm split between Brayden and Kelsey right now. Rest in peace Uzi, Yeva, Khan and Teacher. Reed lets Kelsey into his shelter. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, that's such a bad idea. Oh, Reed. Reed, what are you doing? Brayden receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Rebecca actually didn't listen to landmine while trying to armor it. Dude, the landmines this episode. What is happening? Honestly, I expected this, though. Rebecca, she's kind of mid. Kelsey hunts for other tributes. Oh, she's on the warpath. She's on the warpath. Oh, jeez. 
Reed makes another slingshot, and Brayden searches for firewood. Bro, you have a fire on your head, dude. You don't need firewood. You are the firewood. Reed climbs a tree to rest. Okay, I see the other two together down below, and I fear. Brain destroys Kelsey's slot of supplies while she's asleep. Okay, no one's died, but Brain destroying her supplies has a pretty goaded move. That's a good idea. All right, Brain's thinking smart here. He might he might pull this off. Reed stalks Brayden. Uh-oh. Kelsey receives explosives from no one's sponsor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, I fear. This is more tense than episode 8. I'm not gonna lie to you. Brayden tries to sing himself to sleep. Oh, jeez. We got Reed and Kelsey down below. What's gonna happen? Reed and Kelsey run into each other and decide to truce. Yo. They fear Brayden. They fear him. They know he's playing smart. Honestly, if Reed and Kelsey gang up on Brayden and kill him, it's over for Reed. Kelsey wins. It's GG. Look at me talking like there's any logic to this game. Reed throws a knife into Kelsey's chest! Yo! Alright, I take it all back. Reed? Reed's, Reed knows what he's doing. Reed knows what he's doing. It's the truth! It's the truth! He betrayed her! He betrayed her! He won over her trust and got her from behind! Dude. And Brayden dies from an infection. Should have treated that fire, honestly. Damn. So Reed wins! Out of nowhere! I did not expect that. Every time the OP characters just, like, kill themselves or get killed in silly ways. He did the same thing that Grant did last one with, uh, he just got one kill at the end and that's what won him. Kelsey got her two kills. Rebecca got nothing. Surprising nobody. Khan with three kills. Dude's OP. Fear that man. Emily with four kills. She was going nuts earlier. Jay got a kill. Thad got a kill. Doll got two kills. She was going off. And then somehow, like, all the, all the freaky characters and also N... Uh, <laughs> died really early on. That's hilarious.